Hi everyone, welcome back to K-Drama Notes. We've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's get right into it. Monster X's Hyungwon and Shanu are debuting as the group's first ever subunit. On May 3rd, Starship Entertainment confirmed and said, quote, Shanu and Hyungwon are preparing to form Monster X's first unit. We will officially announce when the exact schedule has been decided. Please anticipate it a lot. This comes as exciting news for the group's fans as Shanu was only recently discharged from the military after completing his mandatory service as a public service worker. What do you guys think about this duo as a subunit? Let me know in the comments down below. In other news, Brave Girls just announced their new group name following their departure from Brave Entertainment. On April 27th, it was revealed that all four members of Brave Girls signed exclusive contracts with Warner Music Korea. At the time of this news, it was also revealed that the group's name, Brave Girls, may need to be changed as their previous company owned the rights to the name. Warner Music has now confirmed and said, quote, Brave Girls will continue their activities and change their team name to BB Girls. What do you all think about the group's new name? Moving on, XOLs were left in shock after SM Entertainment unexpectedly and quite suddenly announced that XO's Kai will be enlisting in the military for his mandatory military service on May 11th. SM Entertainment shared, quote, We have come to relay sudden news to fans regarding Kai's military service. Kai was preparing for EXO's comeback schedule for this year, but due to recent changes in regulations of the Military Manpower Administration, he is set to enter the Army Recruit Training Center on May 11th, where he will receive basic military training and he will then serve as a public service worker. Following the unexpected announcement, Kai went live and shared his feelings about his upcoming enlistment. The star shared the news himself saying, quote, I'm going to the military while shedding tears at the start of the stream. During this live stream, Kai clarified that he was not upset with the fact that he had to serve, but because there was so much that he had prepared. He said, quote, I prepared so much. What a pity. That's what's upsetting. There's nothing I can do about this, and I'm sad that I can't show you what I prepared, but I can just show it after I return. As much as this news came as a surprise to fans, Kai also shared that he had only just found out his enlistment date himself. He said, quote, It'd be nice if I could see your faces before I go. I think I'm going to miss you so much. I'm already missing you right now, though. Today is the first day of me finding out about it as well, so please be understanding. I'll smile from tomorrow onwards. XOLs around the world are now trending, quote, Kai, we will wait for you on Twitter and are sharing heartfelt messages for Kai, reassuring him that they will wait for his return. How are you all feeling about this update? I know many were anticipating a full EXO comeback, but it looks like we'll have to wait a little bit longer. In other news, it was recently announced that Kepler's Huning Baie will be sitting out of the group's upcoming showcases in Japan, which were scheduled for May 4th and 5th due to a death in the family. The group's agency Wake One and Swing Entertainment also shared that Huni Baie will participate in a separate schedule for this event and that they will provide another notice with regard to the additional event soon, sending Huni Baie and her family much strength during this challenging time. A Pink's Chorong, Bomi, Namju, and Hayoung have signed with a new agency following their departure from IST Entertainment. Their new agency, Choi Entertainment, shared, quote, Through warm and embracing leadership, we plan to help the members grow further and create many happy memories. As all the members have strong will and affection for A Pink group activities, we promise to continue their team activities without disbanding the group. We will continue to cooperate with IST Entertainment in relation to A Pink's future activities. As the members told their fans, A Pink will continue to be A Pink. And the updates don't conclude just yet. Boys Planet Group Zero Base One has now officially revealed their official fan club name. Zero Base One fans are now named Zeros, which is a combination of Zero, their group name, and Rose. Member Kim Ji Wong described the meaning of the name by explaining the link between Zeros and Zero Base One's shortened name, CB1. He shared, quote, If you take CB1 out of Zero Base One, you're left with Rose. So if you combine CB1 with Rose, you get Zero Base One. It captures the meaning that us CB1 and Rose are all one. What do you guys think about this name? Do you like how it sounds? What are the names you were expecting the new group to go with? Let me know in the comments down below. In an unexpected turn of events, SM Entertainment has confirmed some very interesting news about NCT's Jungwoo. Now, I know most of you have seen and read dating announcements put out by agencies when artists are reported to be in a relationship, but have you ever heard of sibling announcements? Well, neither have I. Until now, that is. On May 3rd, Sports Chosen reported that NCT's Jungwoo was the younger brother of actress Kim Minna. In response to this report, both SM Entertainment and Kim Minna's agency Worry Actors confirmed that they are indeed siblings. Worry Actors stated, quote, They did not want to mention that they are siblings because they were cautious and thought it would be uncomfortable, but it became known. What are your thoughts on this unexpected update? Let me know down below. And now for some quick K-pop updates. 5050 is continuing a perfect streak on Billboard's Hot 100 as their song Cupid rises to a new peak for the sixth week in a row. According to the data, Cupid fell just shy of entering the top 40 as it climbed to number 41. Notably, 5050 is only the third K-pop group ever to rank so high on the Hot 100 following BTS and Blackpink. 
Another group to make headlines this week was the Seraphim and their new release Unforgiven, which sold an amazing total of 1 million copies on May 2nd alone, setting a new record for the highest first day of sales by any female artist in Hanteo history. An artist that is well known within the K-pop industry is no other than BTS's Suga, and just this week alone he has top 7 Billboard charts and has now become the first K-pop artist to hit number 1 on Billboard's top rap albums chart with his new solo album D-Day. Would you expect anything less than August D himself? I didn't think so. And finally, Monster X's Juhani has recently announced his solo debut date with his first mini-album Lights. According to the first teaser image, his mini-album is set to drop on May 22nd at 6pm KST. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and as always, take care and see you in the next video. Bye!